see. And if we cut that, it's even sure we got like half a mile or 0.4. So we're Easy not gonna hike. we're not gonna go far. If you if we want, we can end up going farther. But let's just aim for there first. Okay. So up, and then we'll hang left. We're going to be the keeper of the map. Yeah! Anyways, uh, it's been a bit of a hiatus. Only 10 years since I've been recording videos, really. But uh, back on the trail, things have changed. I have got a lot of little people with me this time and one not-so-little person. Um, but we're at Yellow River State Forest for a few days, just across the border in Iowa. Um, I can't remember the last time I was here. I think it's been at least three or four years, maybe more. I'm not sure. But it's been an abnormally warm winter, and uh, it's March 14th. There's no snow, mild temps, so we're out here in the woods. And... Uh, Anyways, that's all I got. It's muddy so far. We just left the parking lot. And uh, hopefully it dries out and we have a great weekend. Well, I don't know. We're probably only a quarter mile in. These kids are just booking it. I don't know, it's probably a combination of things, but maybe they're just excited. But what I'm a bit suspicious of is that after so many years, really just sitting at a desk for work and not moving as much, I am out of shape. I just started getting back in shape this year and I think I'm just that much out of shape. But we were probably going at a good three miles an hour, which is a fast hike. But anyways, it's beautiful out here. We'll introduce you to the crew here in a little bit. I think, oh, we've got a, an intersection in the trail we got to figure out. You know, people don't really associate Iowa with hills, but we were hiking in the river valley and now we're coming up out. And it's really, a, it's quite a good hill. These kids are just plowing through this though. <sighs> All right, well, we've been at Camp Glen Wendell now for a little bit. <clears throat> and it's for, yeah, it's, it's similar to what I remember. But they've really renovated. I don't remember these fire rings and stuff here um, from years ago. There's one up there just before camp now. Don't remember that at all. There's one here, which this is where I remember camp being. Um, but we always camped out in the pines here in the Tamaracks. And so we went down there kind of scope it out because it was kind of crappy up there for hammocks. Uh, so we came down here to check it out and they've, re they've renovated it down here too. So there's another campfire ring down here uh, with a set of benches uh, right down here in the in the piney woods. So uh, we're really excited we grabbed our bags. We thought we were going to have to be up top there uh, because we do have the two younger ones tonight in the hammock. But nope, 
there's a spot or excuse me in a tent but we're down here tonight there's a tent pad perfect for them and then we can be down here in the pines right micah right miles yep. Yep. okay time to put the camp together yes sir So we went to go get camp set up and it's never easy. <laughs> uh, the two youngers pull out their tent and I don't know if you can tell, that's supposed to be straight and it's busted. I have no idea how that happened, but we gotta try and figure it out. I'm thinking we can try and bend it back maybe with a rock and then duct tape it, but what else do you do? All right, so boys, Let's uh, try and figure this out. So we've got a stick. I think what we're gonna do, this pole on the tent sits externally from the tent. So it doesn't, it's not one of the kinds that go like in a sleeve or something, which is good. So we got a stick here and we're just gonna try and duct tape it. But when we got here, funny enough, my uh, second youngest son was asking me why I have tape on my hiking pole. Well, for situations, just like this, you never know when you're gonna need duct tape. But that tape has been on there, I was telling them for probably at least 10 years and never uh -oh. been used until now. So, we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so we finally, finally got camp put together. Uh, it took a while. My little makeshift fix there with the tent, uh, it sort of worked. The tent's up, let's take a look at it. Well, it's, uh, it's not so good. Uh, but we got it tied out, staked out, and uh, it's not supposed to rain tonight anyway, so, eh, what else are you gonna do? There's no other option. So uh, the duct tape's gonna hold it as much as it's gonna, and they're gonna sleep in there. So like I said, sort of worked. The elastic between the poles was broken as well so we had to take care of that total crap show here's my setup and uh worked out pretty good uh pretty good the problem with it was though that uh my under quilt was missing one of the mini carabiners of course why not right so i had to make shift something for that so they're in the War Bonnet Ridge Runners as well. We've got two tarps. These are homemade tarps, of course. Uh, pitched up really high so the two of them can hang out in here. And it is turning into a beautiful night with that sun coming out. So for tonight, we got one of my favorite meals. I've done this a few times. Kind of found out by accident, but 
one of these nor butter and noodle mixed with sun-dried tomatoes and then after it cooks mix in a couple of cut up baby bell cheeses and that is a fantastic meal and if you're feeling a little bougie you can mix in some fresh spinach which i didn't bring but uh, that's what we're doing for dinner i'm just going to get that cooked up here for the kids and then we'll check it out once it's cooked look at that cheese it's boiling. Well, it's starting to get to be nighttime here, and we've got a nice fire going. We've got plenty of firewood cut, and uh, we're just kind of wrapping up from dinner. We filtered some water to refill our water oh, bottles, and I think now the kids are going to go to town. They're whittling down sticks for. Uh, marshmallows and they're gonna roast marshmallows over the fire except for mr. AJ who doesn't roast his marshmallows he just burns them yep he's a weirdo making a s'more what do you got a bar and a marshmallow <laughs> you're not very descriptive what kind of bar do you have Taco. a coconut bar dipped in chocolate let's take a look Oh, that was all his idea, folks. Hiya. Basically the smartest man alive. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, my marshmallow needs to be cooked. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Auto. <Bro. laughs> marshmallow. <laughs> I did not sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, good morning. I don't even know what time it is. It was not a good night. My under quilt fell off in the night. I gotta show it to you guys. I don't even remember what brand this is, but it's my newest under quilt for the bridge hammock and it has been nothing but problems. Every time I use it, I swear something breaks on it. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But right now, my youngest was cold all night. So he joined me in my hammock 30, 40 minutes ago, freezing cold. And anyways, he's in there now warming up and we're going to get a fire going. But not, not the best night. But um, hopefully the other kids had a better night. But we got a sunrise coming up. We got geese making noise above us, and uh, let's get a fire going. I mean, a lot more of this. Why don't you go see if you can grab some more? need some smaller stuff too. Yeah. I just wake up and I just hear a bunch of little things running around and I'm so confused. They're elves. They're a bunch of leopard hunts. Other than that, do you sleep alright? Yeah. You gotta strangle a leopard, and then you gotta find a pot of gold. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna care about. Use the gold. That flows. Not great. I'm gonna backflush it. You take the smart water bottle caps like this and then you can screw it on your clean water let's go out of here and you can see the direction of flow we're just going to go backwards and you can see that actually fits really well
So we're on uh, this forest trail still, which cut across the road, wound around, and now we're popping back out onto another road so that we can take the bridge across the, the uh, trout stream here. And then uh, shortly after that, we cut onto the Payton Creek Trail where we'll follow the river or the stream the rest of the way. Where? Right in the middle. Oh, so like a... oh yeah. There's a, there's a big right fish. around here, there's some fish. There's a big fish out there. Oh, oh yeah, they're all over the place. Why didn't we bring fishing poles? I didn't see those ones. What are those? Look at all those. There's a whole school of them right there in the oh, middle. I see. That's a small ones. No, oh, why didn't we bring fishing poles? I kind of fished right off this bridge. That actually was so fun. One. Yeah, okay, Adam. That's dinner tonight. What do you think, Miles? Next time, fishing poles? Yes. Oh, Mike? Definitely. We gotta go. yeah. AJ hates fishing though. He wishes we would just never fish again. Guys, I love fishing. Next time. Definitely. Every time I've been to this next campsite, I've been with a larger group and people have always caught trout and brought them and cooked them over the fire. So we talked about it, but I didn't want to buy the license and deal with all the stuff to go fishing, but kind of wish we would have now. It'd have been fun. Next time. So one of the crazy things is my last videos, when I was making some of the last videos, at least regularly, my youngest, who's here, who's the weirdo, um, wasn't, I don't think, even alive. And the next youngest uh, was too little. And the old one here is not the same kid that was in my videos before. That kid is at home. He's a teenager, but he... Uh, it's too cool for dad now. He's got his license and he's doing college courses and things like that. So he didn't want to come. He's missing out, but uh, Noah, we miss you. But we're all having fun. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. All right, well, we came up to this little park area intersects the main road and uh, I think the consensus is we're gonna stop we're gonna do lunch cook up some ramen and uh, just kind of enjoy the beautiful weather so that's what's up I think we have I guess we got to look at at the map right map yep. yeah um, <laughs> I think we have like two miles left or so that's my guess what do you guys think 96 miles. I hope it's not 96 miles. Definitely. We secretly got lost. What do you think, Map? I think we have like two miles. Yeah. Map's probably right. <laughs> yeah. So ramen time is about to happen. Woo! Flame. If this one falls, this one could be good. Ramen. Yes. Oh, I forgot to be jerking this. Oh, it fell! It's all gone anyway. Yeah. Ah, be jerking. You just said you were mm. It's so good! Next time we come back to Yellow River State Forest, we're bringing fishing stuff. Um, we've seen a lot of people fishing as we kind of skipped across the river on these different uh, backcountry roads. Uh, a lot of people fly fishing, so that's something I want to give a shot. Um, but you can see the river behind me loops around here. Um, we just did, I don't know, 10 miles maybe in the truck exploring parts of the forest that I've never seen before. It was pretty cool. Um, 
we took this, I think it was Donahue Road, um, which lead, led up to the parking lot here at Heffern's Hill campsite. But uh, the sign said, you know, impassable and high water. Luckily, the water level is pretty low. But even with the rain yesterday, there was a lot of areas where um, it was pretty mucky. And I'm glad we had four-wheel drive. But super cool and uh, beautiful day. Come here, Age. What do you think? Are you having fun? No, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> He's mad he wants to sleep in the truck tonight because the tent's broken. Well, we made it to Heffern's Hill. I don't know, quarter mile hike, not even, maybe, I don't know. Oh. Now we gotta find a place to set up, spend the night. I've got my spot picked out, but now the two oldest have their own spot, but they picked out, it's kind of far away. So I'm gonna go make sure they're not gonna go like kill themselves or something by hanging from a dead tree. Kind of far. Un poco. Where are you guys hanging? I'm just trying to make sure you're not going to kill yourselves. From that one to this one? Yeah. And from that one? No. Okay, so that's one. This is too close. I can tell you that already. Dinner time, and we are having, what are we having, guys? Chili Mac. Well, some of us are. What are you having, Drew? Beef stew. Beef stew. So, last night we went for an easy meal. We got mountain houses for everybody, chili mac and beef stew. Andrew and I are the beef stew people. Although, I like the chili mac better. Oh. But anyways, we've just been hanging around camp, not doing a whole lot. You know, the usual kind of thing. So, that's about all I got for you. Any words of wisdom? Be good. That's good. What about you, Mike? Not really anything. Oh. What, are you, what are you doing? making marshmallow taffy. Marshmallow taffy. And what is marshmallow taffy? It's marshmallow taffy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You just pull apart the marshmallow lunch. Did you warm it up first or no? Nope. All right, Micah ate his. So Miles has got some marshmallow taffy going here. And to me, to me it just seems like a mess. But apparently, I'm told it has an interesting texture. This looks stupid. How much longer are you gonna go? Bro. Well. Doesn't that taste weird? <laughs> I feel weird. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. Yeah, it's a mess. Oh, 
here. Oh. Oh, there. Got him. Sweet. Well, good morning on day three. It's a little bit after seven in the morning. It's still pretty darn dark though, uh, with how cloudy it is. But slept a little better last night. I think the kids slept better last night. Um, but anyways, uh, our goal here is to pack up. We figured this out last night because we ate all of our food. Um, <laughs> we made the decision to eat our breakfast last night. And so uh, we have no food. Uh, so we're gonna pack up real quick here, hike out, it's a short hike to the car, and uh, go get some breakfast. So that's what we're doing. So with the mice running around last night, cause they were all over, we decided to put the kids tent back up and uh, not sleep in the shelter here. They were afraid and rightly so that the mice would be crawling over them all last night. And we were actually just sitting here this morning and. We had mice crawling all around in the rafters in there, so they probably made the right decision to sleep in the tent, but um, the brokenness of the tent got worse last night and it started to collapse on them, so we had to reinforce it by lashing my hiking pole. So check this out. <laughs> uh, it's so janky. Uh, so we got my hiking pole kind of reinforcing it so it didn't collapse. But may do, it's what you do. And uh, anyways, we're excited to get out of here, get on the road, get some food in our bellies. So thanks for coming along on the trip. We'll have a little bit more here probably, but anyways, let's get packing. Thank you. 